Let us study atmospheric layers in this video. Earth has atmosphere around it. That means it has retained a mixture of gases around it because of gravity. If Earth's gravitation was weak, Earth would have lost these gases and there would have been no atmosphere like it has happened on Mars. This mixture of gases float around Earth. There is a variation in temperature and composition of these gases based upon different place and time. Earth's atmosphere extends up to 10,000 km. But at such heights, there are very few gas molecules. Therefore, for all practical purposes, we consider 450 to 500 km as atmosphere. We have classified atmosphere into different layers based on their characteristics. The first layer is called troposphere. It starts from ground and extends up to a height of 12 km on average. But its height is not same everywhere. Near poles, troposphere extends up to 8 to 10 km. At equator, it extends up to a height of 18 km. This is because tropical regions receive more direct intense rays of sun compared to polar regions. This heats up equator region more and strong convectional currents take winds to greater heights pushing limits of troposphere. Troposphere is closest to the ground. Temperature drops as you move higher from ground. This is called environmental lapse rate. The rate of drop in temperature as you move higher in the troposphere. It varies across different regions and different seasons. That is, it has both spatial and temporal variation. Normally, temperature drops by 6.5 degrees Celsius for every rise in 1 km. Drop of 6.5 degrees Celsius per km is called normal lapse rate. Temperature reaches minus 45 degrees Celsius at the top of troposphere near poles. And it reaches up to minus 80 degrees Celsius near equator region. It is due to greater height of troposphere near the equator. Around 80% of total mass of Earth's atmosphere is in troposphere itself. 50% of total atmospheric mass is found within first 5.5 km. Troposphere has a mix of different gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide and small amounts of other gases. Apart from these, it also contains water vapor that varies across regions. Near equator, water vapor is as much as 4% of total volume and near polar regions, it is nearly zero. Troposphere has 99.13% of total water vapor in the atmosphere. That means, almost all water vapor is found within troposphere itself. Since water vapor is source of most weather events, all weather occurs in troposphere. Cyclones, rainfall, fog, snowfall, anticyclones, storms and all weather events take place only in troposphere. Although some violent storms cross troposphere and reach lower parts of next layer called stratosphere. Boundary of troposphere is marked by the presence of tropopause. Tropopause acts as boundary between troposphere and stratosphere. Temperature decreases as you move higher in troposphere. When you reach tropopause, the temperature remains constant. It does not decrease anymore. Next is stratosphere. It lies above the troposphere and is separated from it by the tropopause. Stratosphere extends up to 50 km from Earth's surface and it begins from tropopause which is located around 12 km above on average. Temperature remains constant in the lower parts of stratosphere. But it starts increasing from some distance and reaches up to 0 degree Celsius near stratopause. Stratopause separates stratosphere from above layer. Temperature starts increasing in stratosphere because stratosphere contains ozone layer. Ozone layer absorbs harmful UV rays of the sun. This causes temperature to increase. Near stratopause, temperature is around 0 degree Celsius from nearly minus 80 degree Celsius temperature just below the tropopause. There is no weather in stratosphere unlike troposphere. Generally, there are no clouds or weather disturbances. Stratosphere is free of atmospheric turbulence. Hence, jet-powered aircrafts prefer to fly in stratosphere. Aircrafts fly in upper troposphere also when weather is clear. Although stratosphere is completely free of clouds, sometimes nacreous clouds and polar stratospheric clouds occur. Stratosphere is also the highest layer which can be accessed by jet-powered aircrafts. If you want to reach higher than stratosphere, you will have to use sounding rockets or rocket-powered aircrafts.
स्ट्रेटोस्पियर एंड्स विथ स्ट्रेटोपॉज एट अराउंड फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम अर्थ सर्फेस फ्रॉम फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स टू एटी किलोमीटर्स देर इज मिजोस्पियर टेम्परेचर वंस अगेन स्टार्ट टू डिक्रीज एज यू मूव हायर इन द मिजोस्पियर इट इज द कोल्डेस्ट प्लेस ऑन अर्थ विथ एवरेज टेम्परेचर इट सेल्फ बींग माइनस एटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस इवन इफ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर वेपर एक्जिस्ट हियर इट विल कंडेंस इन टू नॉक्टिलुसेंट क्लाउड्स मिजोस्पियर इज ऑल्सो द लेयर वेर मिटियर्स बर्न अप मिजोस्पियर एंडस एट अराउंड एटी टू एटी फाइव किलोमीटर्स वेर मिजोपॉस इज लोकेटेड एबो दिस देर इज थर्मोस्पियर टेम्परेचर वंस अगेन स्टार्ट टू इनक्रीज विथ हाइट जस्ट लाइक इन स्ट्रेटोस्पियर इट वॉज ड्यू टू ओजोन लेयर इन स्ट्रेटोस्पियर इन थर्मोस्पियर मॉलिक्यूल्स गेट हीटेड अप डायरेक्टली बाय सन एंड टेम्परेचर रीचेस अप टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस बट योर हैंड्स विल नॉट बर्न इफ यू एक्सपोज दम एट थर्मोस्पियर दिस इज बिकॉज देर आर वेरी वेरी लेस मॉलिक्यूल्स प्रेजेंट एंड हैंड्स हीट ट्रांसफर डज नॉट अकर ह्यूमन बॉडी कैन नॉट फील द हीट बिकॉज ऑफ लो डेंसिटी ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स इन थर्मोस्पियर Objects also don't feel it as it is evident from International Space Station that orbits in thermosphere between 350 to 420 kilometers. Thermosphere is also the place where auroras occur. Aurora borealis and aurora australis. Thermosphere exists from 80 kilometers to 700 kilometers on average. Its upper limit is not constant and varies from 500 kilometers to 1000 kilometers based on solar activity. Above the thermosphere there is exosphere from around 700 kilometers up to 10000 kilometers there are very very less number of molecules in this layer aurora sometimes overlap in this layer along with thermosphere let us look at few other terminologies first one is ozonosphere this is that part of stratosphere which has high concentrations of ozone molecule it is typically lower part of stratosphere from 15 to 35 kilometers next ionosphere This is a part of Earth's atmosphere from 50 to 1000 kilometers during daytime hours. Solar radiation is responsible for ionization in this layer. This includes mesosphere, thermosphere and parts of exosphere. Ionization is responsible for auroras. This layer is important for radio waves propagation from Earth. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.